Well, I want to look at my uh, computer and I want to see where I left off. Because I, the last video I posted before this last uh, Arizona cell one was uh, morning face and hunting for angels. So the, uh, the very next video that I could see in line with that was this one. <laughs> Me learning a lesson. A lesson that I've already learned, that apparently didn't learn, I guess you say. So, here's that one. This was just a couple hours after the morning. The happy, energetic morning face. Alright, here's, right, here's what's happening. So, that wonderful morning, all that excitement. I got going and got too excited too quickly and... <laughs> It just, it just killed me. And eating, I say, I get overconfident. Good days, great days, great mornings can really be dangerous for me because you, I get so excited that I'm just like, oh, I'm so normal. I'm just going to go eat a little sausage McGriddle for two bucks at McDonald's. And you know, the nitrates in that just, and the gluten and the sugar and whatever other mystery foods in there, they're so good though. And then I, I don't know, I drove too far and then I think, I just try to do too much. So now I'm in the, okay, I'm making tea, I'm making, taking my, drinking, making my potions. <laughs> yeah. And it's after 12, so I may get out my emergency potion because today Dennis and Betty and I have to um, film some things because tomorrow we can't. And the next day we can't, and then then it'll just be out of sequence, and it just won't it won't be as as fun. So um, anyway, so this is this is what happens. <laughs> Sometimes you wake up, and then you do too much, and then you crash, and then you go into what do I need to do? Okay, so I'm putting all these little clips together of the worst narrated and reenactment I think you're ever gonna watch. But you're gonna watch it because I filmed it. And the point of this is not being recognized. The point is, I'm gonna give you the point because you're not gonna get it. <laughs> I mean, because I don't even mention it, but it's really about how divinely guided things are sometimes. And that, um, it's not about being recognized, but it's about landing in a spot that you're supposed to. And I don't want to give the... Oh, well. Uh... <laughs> I mean, they, they recognize me, but they also... Never mind. Watch it. Oh, it didn't turn off. What are you guys doing? You think you're, are you filming him? Yeah. You think you're YouTube stars now? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna show me up? <laughs> uh, so, I finally got the outfit on. The infamous outfit. Looking good. Oh, this is gonna be a real reenactment because I feel just like I did the day that you found me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. We're we're gonna re we're gonna we're gonna have our first acting gig. Our first. Yeah. It's coming. Uh, hold on. <laughs> that wasn't on camera. That was not. She she had her line, and she had a preemptive strike on her line. Yeah. It's pre uh, this I got my outfit on. This. Excuse me, tripod, temporary tripod. Would you hold this for a second? Hold that right there. And back up. You keep backing up. Keep that way, that way, that way. Okay. Just, I just want to like set the scene, okay? So it's been about 12 hour day. I left Texas. Six hour drive, 12 hours. It's cold, it's rainy. I started off with I started off, I think, naked because it was so hot in Texas. 
pieces. So one by one, I just kept throwing stuff on, pulled these out of my sister's donation bag. She wanted me to go through to see if I wanted. I didn't even know what they were. Socks, come, come down here. Socks turned sideways. And I know, okay, back up to my face, my fibro face today, because I am not having a good day. But I drank my Kool-Aid, and then I mixed a little potion, you know, the potion that comes in the mason jar that I poured out of my sister's jar that she gave me as a present before she left. Yeah, okay. So, um, just to get through this acting gig, you know, the show has to go on, and they're leaving tomorrow. Hey. What? You forgot to zip your pants. Oh, yeah, the zipper, the zipper. <laughs> so I'm wearing this outfit. And, and, uh... Oh, you know what? Why don't you stand up right there? Can you stand on that thing? Me? Hold on. Such a willing participant. You're risking? Yes, he probably doesn't remember that. Okay, so I'm gonna have you hold this so you can get the, the full scene. We're gonna start right now. Oh, my. So it's cold as training, and I am 100% sure that I'm safe, that nobody knows me. I'm pulling into a town that has like four maybe RV spots in the middle of the panhandle, and I just, it's rainy, and I am, I literally pull up, get out of the car, or get out of the seat, look around, jump in bed, don't move, don't plug in, nothing, to the next day. And as I'm looking out my window, I see two men looking at my electric and I'm like, oh my God, my electric's gonna be stolen. I gotta get out there. Didn't even think. I mean, I knew I had to move fast because once someone plugs in to your spot, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's hard to get them out. <laughs> that, was, that was not part of my line, by the way. Okay, and then, okay, sir, it's your, your cue. So, this, is, this is where I come in? This is where you come in. So he walks up and says, I say, are you going to take my electric? And I say, I think I know you. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Tim, I do. Um, I recognize you. Tim, uh, I know you. Oh, yeah, from, no, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I know you. You were at the RTR last year. Oh. Uh, you had just pulled in. Yes, 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 yes. Oh Dan. my God, um, I can see. How did you recognize me? Sierra. I mean, like right now. Well, yeah, tell you this. <laughs> this was not the way I dressed. This Dan, is, move over. This is, oh, I gotta move over. This is not, yeah, the, is where it. the spot is, we marked right on the spot. I'm on the X. Yeah, on the X, on the X. Um, you, you were at the RTR? I was there. And I saw you there. We met there. We met? Made a big impression, didn't I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, just give me some clues. You put the tear on my wife's head. I put the tear. Oh, oh you yes. were the only woman. You were the only. She, your wife is the only woman that I put that crown on. I think. Yeah, yeah. You just went like that, <laughs> and I have the picture. Oh, you have. A, oh my God, I'm getting the goosebumps. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, um, I don't feel very good, but can go get the picture and um. Get your wife to verify that story. All right. Okay. I'm going to get her. You're nomad? Yeah. We're nomad. I, oh, I'm videotaping now. You're nomad. We are yeah. Nomads. You're a little off. You're a little crooked. Uh. Perfect. <laughs> no, no. The crooked, you were right. The crooked is it. Thank you. I love you guys. You've you've just helped me in so many ways. And um, well, just... We were pretty lucky to run into you, too. I know. What are we the odds? What were... are the odds? What there are the were, odds? It wasn't a coincidence. It, it was divinely guided. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. So. yeah. 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 Thank you. I love All you. Right. Love See you, you soon. Bye bye. Bye. So there you have it. There is the worst reenactment, and I promise I won't do any more. <laughs> but I just, the, the two I did before were really boring to watch. And this had some dynamic to it. <laughs> and I was so. I wasn't surprised I was recognized. Yeah, it's kind of a surprise to be recognized. I was 100% sure I wasn't going to be, but it was also a huge surprise to them and to me that we had met. And that was the first day I'd arrived at the RTR and um, Wild West Unlimited had brought this crown and we had so much fun with it and I was putting it on and they came by and I don't know why I put it on her, but anyway, there was a picture. 
and here it was people that we had connected and then we're connecting again in this um, unplanned or and yet I didn't know at the time I was going to be spending what that was 10 11 I left Texas on 10 10 this was the next day 10 11 and I didn't leave Texas till 10 I don't know a few I, I, I was there like over two weeks over two weeks so and we were hop skipping and jumping and they left and said goodbye and then they'd come back to my town and I'd go to theirs and you know because you can only have three days in these little towns some four so they just turned out to be uh, just really fun and amazing people and Betty just was just a, such a hugger and so generous and shared some of her chili and food and it was really meaningful to me because I had to kind of get things situated which I was going to do in Hereford that was the first town we met in so um, thanks for watching and I'm enjoying my new camera getting to know it a little bit better and I'll have another video for you soon